Hi, this is John with SysEng Quick. Today I'm going to show you a few graphical tools you can use in Windows to work with Git repositories. So the first thing we'll check out is the Git GUI. Right click on your desktop, you can do Git GUI here. You have a few options. You can create any repository, clone an existing one, or open one. So let's go ahead and clone an existing repo. I'm going to clone the one from our Debian box and the target directory is just any directory that doesn't exist. So I'll browse over to the desktop folder and then I'm going to add a path on the end. I'll call it get working and I'll do clone. It's going to clone all of our stuff right here and there are other things you can do once you have a repository with Git GUI. They've got pretty much all the commands. You can run from the command line, but in these menus. And that is helpful, but I'm actually not a fan of the Git GUI. So I'm going to close this and we're going to use the Atom text editor instead. So we'll go over to our Git working folder. We will go to open with Atom. And we can see we brought up our repository. So over here, we've got some test files. We've got our branches in the bottom right hand corner over here. And we've got a Git toolbar, which lets us add new files, make branches, add files, commit, push, and pull. So those are some useful shortcuts. There are also some extra commands if you press Control Shift H, which is probably Command Shift H or Command Option H on a Mac. I haven't used a Mac in a while, so I'm not sure but there are a bunch of commands you can use from git plus in here. If you need to run a command that's not listed in here, you can use the run and then put in your arguments right in here. And it will do them just if you put git and whatever you type into here. So let's see if we can make some changes to here. Let's just take this down to this. I can save. You can see the color of test.txt changed, indicating that there are differences between the last commit and the current file revision. We can go ahead and click this button to add all the files. Then we can make a commit of all those files. Removed dummy lines. Now we can push that up to our bare repo. But it's telling us we have no upstream branch. The reason for that is that by default, Git GUI does not track the upstream master branch. I'm not sure why, but they don't. That's different if you ran git clone from the command line, which would track that branch by default, and you wouldn't get this error. To fix that, we can do Control Shift H, and we can do Push U. That way, we're now tracking the remote branch, and we've pushed our changes to the Git repository. So let's make sure those changes exist. Let's go to our Debian install and let's take a look at test.txt. You can see it's different than what we had. That's because we haven't pulled the changes. So let's do that. And there we go. We've got our current changes. So it did work. So let's go back to Atom because generally you don't want to work on the master branch. We want to make our own branch. So you can do that with the branch button right up here. And to, we'll make a new branch, calling it, I don't know, new branch. And it will automatically switch to that new branch. You don't have to branch and then check out like you do from the command line. It assumes that you're making a branch. You want to use that branch. So there we go. We can see we're on the new branch. So let's add some changes. and I will go ahead and save that. I will add my files. I will commit my changes. And I will try to push that to the origin. And again, we don't have a new branch because we've never made that branch before on the origin. Again, control shift H and push dash U and we can now use new branch on the origin. So let's go make sure it's there. If we run git pull, it will fetch our new branch and then we can do git checkout new branch and there we go so our changes are working let's go back to the master branch and let's see how we can merge this new branch into our master branch 
the first thing you have to do is go down here and change it from new branch to master branch. And there seems to be a bug in Git GUI or Git Plus. I'm not sure which one, but the first time you switch back to the master branch, after checking something out with Git GUI, it's going to delete everything. I don't know how that happens, but it does. So I'm just going to close this. We'll say don't save. We're going to right click on Git Working and open this with Atom. Now we're going to do Control Shift H. We're going to use the Run macro. We're going to do Reset Space Dash Dash Hard. There we go. We've now fixed our branch and that shouldn't happen in the future. So we'll go back to test. We can see we've got just our test file. So let's merge our branch. To merge a branch you do Control Shift H and look for the merge command. We're going to merge and then select new branch. And there you go, you see our file has the new branch. And now we can push that up to the origin. And if we go to our Debian install, the changes aren't there now. But if we run a git pull, we can see that our changes are there. So that is how you do git branching and merging with Atom and git plus. Again, if we made a change, we could use pull to pull those changes down. It's the same if we did anything else. So there you go. That's the basics of using Atom and Git GUI to do Git repository stuff in Windows. And actually, this should work on any platform. It's just that I commonly work in Windows when I'm doing edits, and I like to use Atom rather than some other text editor, especially if I don't have a graphical user environment on the system that I'm working with. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.